Now we start with the demonstrations of 4,000 unionized workers in Tema Thursday morning converged at the Tema Metropolitan Assembly forecourt to join organized labor for the national demonstration. Tema workers joined more than 10 buses. Some traders also closed shops in support of the demonstration. Tema Regional Police Command provided security for smooth departure of the workers. Regional ICU officer Ilieza Nyahunu spoke to the news team. Of Ghana, to join workers of Ghana, to impress upon the government of Ghana to take immediate steps to rectify the situation because it is becoming just too much for us to bear. But I can assure you after this exercise and nothing significant is done, get ready that on a weekly basis across the country, national unions, national associations are going to take steps to ensure that government gives listening ear. Regional Police Commander DCOP Mrs. Beatrice Zakpa Vinzanziri gave an overview of security arrangement. We've been here for some time just to make sure that uh, they move in an orderly manner. Uh, we are here to make sure that they don't create uh, traffic jams in the course of moving from Tema to Accra. And then uh, we have also arranged for them to be escorted uh, out of Tema orderly and then uh, to Obra Sport where they can join their colleagues for the demonstration. And uh, so far we haven't recorded any incident. So that was from Tema, as you are aware by now, it is a nationwide demonstration. We're moving to the eastern region where organized labor in that very region tasked the government to improve sectors of the economy and work at eliminating perceived corruption among an eight-point petition in the christened Yabre peaceful march in the capital. Kofuria representatives from the union groups numbering some hundred were finally addressed at the Jackson Park. In the early morning downpour halted proceedings, but some union groups converged at the state insurance yard. By 8.30 a.m., the demonstrators, led by their leadership, took some principal streets carrying placards with several inscriptions conveying their message to government security positioned at vantage points, and market women and the general public joined the demonstration. A group later converged at the Jackson Park to forward their petition to the Deputy Regional Minister, Mavis Amma Frimpong. In the petition, the Acting Eastern Regional Secretary, Johnson Chermi, demanded immediate action from government. The Deputy Eastern Regional Minister, Mavis Frimpong, promised government would deal with their concerns. Right, so that was the eastern region. Now in the Volta region, demonstration is also ongoing. Komla is joining us to give us more. This is the station for the GPRTU. A while ago, we have been uh, reporting the demonstration, uh, which started at the Civic Center, went to Principal Street, and then ended uh, at the Volta Regional Coordinating Council, where uh, the TUC Regional Secretary presented a petition to the regional minister who uh, we can report uh, was booed in the process as she attempted to uh, give an explanation on economic hardship by the people. We have been around, I can report that the demonstration lasted for uh, an hour exactly and it was very peaceful, no issues, no hitches here and there. We have been to some of the centers, for instance, essential service centers like the hospitals, uh, like the transport stations where we are now. The hospitals, I can say specifically the whole municipal hospital, they are working. The doctors are working. They are attending to emergency cases. They are attending to OPD services and the like. Everything is ongoing. But um, there's a contrary, especially with, with regard to the transport. So I'm joined by the station for uh, the GPRT station here in Ho. Uh, his name is Awilo. Yeah. Awilo, you, you you are working yeah. 
contrary to the decision by your bosses in a crowd that he shouldn't work. Why is that the case? Um, as a matter of fact, uh, I've not received any directives from my superiors over here. And so the only idea that I know is that just to come to the station and keep on working. And so since I've not received any information from my regional chairman and uh, my other superiors, I need not to just do anything on my own. But, but but you have heard um, um, at least on radio and the call by your leaders at least from my father that you should join in you should suspend services uh, ordinarily you would want to play according to them you didn't do that exactly you know i know from the national level it was on the media it was on the telly a print media electronic media whatever but i believe beyond every doubt that i'm still working under somebody over here in this region and so if there is any decision that i will be taking with my colleagues over here and then it must come directly from the top yep Many thanks to you, um, Awilo. Uh, as, 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 as we can, you can see from the pictures, it's not entirely like a busy station. The cars are there, the passengers uh, are yet to fill the buses, but they are working full scale, like we did indicate in the morning. The hospitals are working, the march was peaceful, it went without any hitches. Businesses in town, I can report you as a matter of fact are working they are on their feet people are working no hitches except for a few of uh, the government agencies we've been to the educational unit we've been to the health directorate uh, they have come to work and in a bit some are working some are not working so it's it's a bit of a mix though the situation here in the volta region many thanks to you uh, from the whole crew back to you for midday life to continue Thank you very much indeed, Komla Kluchi. And um, let me remind you, it's still a nationwide um, demonstration that has to do with organized labor. We've seen the Eastern, we've seen Tema, we've seen the Volta region. Now let's focus on the Great Accra region. And organized labor has presented their petition to the Minister of Employment and Labor Relations. How Nigeria so the petition contains the issues of high interest rates, utilities, and among others, they are asking government to address their problems. If you are giving my money to somebody, don't you even consult me. So the pension issue is a very big issue. We want government to transfer our monies to our fund administrators. The tumbling of the city is not the best. Now, the fiscal policies that we are pursuing will not achieve its objective. Now, uh, every week you hear a new exchange rate, but the workers' income is stagnant. So be a part of this bulletin. If you saw what happened wherever you were in the parts of this country, send your comments. Facebook and Twitter is News on TV3. And some commuters in Okawa were left stranded as commercial vehicle drivers refused to work. The move was in support of organized labor's demonstration against economic conditions in the country. Thursday morning, 8.25 a.m. The circle station is void of its usual busy and chaotic scene. Commuters today are not rushing for public transport. The vehicles will not pick any passenger. TV3 was told the drivers had joined organized labor's demonstration. We are stranded here. You can't get a car and go to work. You have to report at work by this time. I got to this place 7 o'clock. By this time, 8.45, I have to get to work. You enter your engagement, man, that is what I say. You tell road wet, income tax, and a full increase, I have a top. And so, 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 I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to
some drivers seem not in support of the strike, fearing loss of revenue. Demonstration idea was a cosso. A bad juma for now, I saw my day. Omoya Sadeno, by any Obia Juma, Sir Omosi, Omo Brukukana, Samosi Omoya Mu demonstration. In Tikana, you have to Africa on a few, eh? Eba Bessia Seno. I don't know why, but me, I say, I may desire my top one, and I say, BB Santi Omosi Omo Brukukano. Fourteen drivers took advantage to cash in on the situation. At the new plant station, vehicles operating intercity routes were in business. Vice Chairman of Pro Tour Drivers of the New Plan Station, Patrick Nyaku, says they are not part of the strike. Yeah, 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 yeah Pro Tour. And the Pro Tour for the Sun can let it be as if you are moving with this. And today, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sadi, or mine, and more, you know. That is where I am, just say, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, time now to hand over the microphone to you on what do you think? Today, organized labor are on the streets demonstrating against what they call economic hardship in the country. But on what do you think today, we ask you, should we have waited as a country for things to get us far before we demonstrate? We shouldn't have waited though, but I think before you go on such a demonstration, you might have given the, uh, the leadership some ample time to make some decisions. And I think the labor organizations are fed up because they've given the government all the time they can. We thought things could be uh, uh, go uh, better, but how we are seeing things, we have to. We do not to wait for anything because the government has kept giving uh, promises upon promises upon promises. And the promises are too much. We thought by now he and the minister could have done better. So many attempts have been made towards the government so that he can make a change to what is happening but to no avail. We were all hoping that as, as time goes on things will be better but things are getting worse. I think we did not wait because the government keep on promising us every day in day out and we think as he being the head of us uh, he will realize to rectify things but still things are getting worse that's why we have decided to go on massive demonstration today. Now from what do you think, after we hand over the microphone to you, let's move to the social media platform. And Edukwao Nana Murphy says government should be proactive to hear the grievances of organized labor and should not leave this demonstration to, well, he's saying that government should act after this demonstration. And also... Publi Publi says that the more everywhere, I know government's actions on issues and policies will never remain the same again after today. We're trying to read some more comments, but remember, get interactive. Facebook and Twitter is news on TV3 and sending your comments. Ampo Fabwa just says that Ghana is going in politics and education, the struggle for better life and conditions still continues and Bagu Bashiru says TUC keep doing the good work we are behind you well that's from Bashiru and then also Vida adds that after today well she believes that there will be a change so we have some of your comments here you can also if you're just joining this is midday live send your comments on the TUC demonstration what you've seen if you were a part of it your observations to our social media platform Facebook and Twitter is news on TV so we've gone across the regions we've seen some updates from the Volta region we've seen some updates from Tema We've seen some updates in the greater Accra region on what has been happening since morning. And we're heading to the western region where Kenneth Ampofo is there. And he's going to join us shortly via phone to give us some more updates on what exactly is happening in the western region. Hello, Kenneth. Hello, Kenneth. Yeah, hello. Now, what's happening now? At the moment, uh, what I can say is that organized labor uh, have presented their uh, petition to the regional minister and it was done by the leader of the TUC in, uh, to do the presentation whilst the whole group waited at the entrance of the regional coordinating council. All right, well, thank you. Before, for, okay. before the presentation, uh, one of the leaders of ICU, the regional officer of the ASCB also uh, really gave caution to 
uh, the regional minister that they are demonstrating peacefully to register their displeasure as to what is happening within the economy, the falling CD, which is also embedded in the petition, uh, the rising cost of living, and many other issues, the breakdown uh, of the railway service, and also tall not working uh, as it should. All right. Well, thank you, Kenneth, for that update. We'll get back to you in our subsequent bulletin. It was giving us an update from the Western region. And so